Hello everyone, welcome to Computerized Engineering. This video is a basic introduction to datum plane and because of a viewer's request, the examples used in this video are the same examples which were used in the video in which I talk about additive and subtractive loft. Here are the examples. And if you haven't seen the previous video, check the link in the description. Additionally, at the end of the video, we will have a look at how to make this part in FreeCAD. It's a little bit tricky because we will have to cut out a plane using these three points over here, A, B, C. So we will have a look at this at the end of the video. For now, let's begin with example one. In example number one, we have two additional datum planes over here, which are offsetted from the X set plane. So let's have a look at how we can create something like this. I will create a random sketch just for the sake of demonstration. So let's create something like this. So click here, press spacebar so that you can view the uh, origins and the planes. So to create a datum plane, click over here, create a datum plane. In this option, you can see here you have the references. It's, it currently says selecting, no reference selected, not attached. Here you have different attachment modes. And at the bottom, you have attachment offset, which is currently inactive. So to um, choose a plane and then offset it, first you have to select a reference. And now you can see it has automatically assigned an attachment mode. Now, uh, in attachment offset, you can just offset it. Now, you might be wondering why am I translating this in Z direction, even though the axis is Y axis. And if I change this in Y direction or even X direction, nothing happens. And the reason for that is, if we go to wiki uh, of the FreeCAD, here you can read, Note that the X, Y, and Z offset represent the local coordinate system of the datum plane, not the world coordinate system. Therefore, the Z offset is always the offset along the datum plane normal vector. So regardless of the plane that you choose, you always give the offset in Z direction. So here you can give the offset and let's specify a value, let's say 200. And then if you want, you can create another um, reference uh, datum plane let's give this 400 and uh, this is how you offset datum planes in a single direction now let's look at example number two in this example we will have a look at how we can create mid planes but this is a little bit tricky and let me tell you why so let's create a sketch choose this plane let's create a cylinder hundred and oh, let me close this first yes now let's give this a length of 100 millimeter now if you go back to this option choose this face and this face here you can see in attachment mode it has assigned inertia 2 3 and this is in the middle of this cylinder but this option means that this is not in the middle of length this is at the center of mass what if you change the center of mass what would happen then let's have a look let's create an opening over here which has a depth of 80 millimeter so if i change the transparency it looks something like this now the center of mass is not over here it's somewhere over here and if you return to this option and again choose these faces now you can see your plane is over here it's no longer a mid plane it's at the center of the mass so let's say you want a plane right in the middle of the length there are a number of things that you can do so let's unselect this and let's select this face now the first thing you can do is give this a length of let's flip the direction first let's give this a length of 50 because you know the length is 50 but a better way of doing this is choose this option enter an expression and over here type pad dot length here you can see it gives you the result that this pad has a length of 100 millimeter now you can divide this by 2 but you also have to enter the units 2 millimeter okay now you can see this is in the middle of uh, this cylinder and if I OK this and let's suppose I change the uh, length of the pad let's say I make this 50 so you see this is now updated 
So this is how you can create midplane. You can also use this option to specify some other type of instructions. Let's say you can also put um, plus two millimeter or minus two millimeter, depending how you uh, how you want to model a specific part. So I will not really be covering this example because, as you can see, there were no additional datum planes created, and this is very simple to make. I hope you can make this, and it won't be a big issue. Instead, let's move on to this example. Now, let's look at the final example, how we can create this in FreeCAD using uh, these three points to cut this out. So let's begin by creating a new document, tasks, create body, create sketch. And let's begin by creating this rectangle over here, which is 88 by 50, and it has a thickness of 18. Choose center rectangle 88 by 50 and give this a length of 18. So next we will create this shape on the top of this rectangle. So select this face and start your sketch. Choose this rectangle and in order to latch this rectangle choose this option create external geometry and select all of these edges. Now we can easily latch the rectangle with this. Now let's give it some dimensions. So from from the edge this is 38 and has a thickness of 12. 38 12 and this side this is 28 and 12 since both of these are equal i will control select these two and make them equal now our sketch is fully constrained but we have to trim some of the edges so for that go over here trim edge and trim the extra edges now our sketch is under constraint and we have to fix it and in order to fix it you can just move it and get an idea where you have to give the constraint. So this should be horizontal, this should be vertical, horizontal, vertical. Okay now let's make these lines collinear. No, actually I have to select this point and this point make them go linear similarly for this and finally this and this as well now our sketch is fully constrained we can exit and let's extrude it 56 minus 18 Okay, now we are almost towards the end of the sketch. We just have to create these three points. Let's start with point A. So point A is located on this line and it has an angle of 45 degrees from point C. Don't be confused with this unit, 38. It's not located 38 millimeters over here. So let's create point A. Select this face, start your sketch and first let's create some reference here and here uh, toggle the construction geometry on give it dimension here 45 now uncheck from the uh, construction mode select this point and click here close now we have our point A here. Let's proceed with point B. Select this face. And our point B is over here, right at the corner of right here. So it's 88 and 56, which means here. So again, let's create some reference geometry and just select the point, click here. We have our point B. Now finally, let's make point C, which is at the corner over here. Select this face, 
start the sketch, create reference geometry, and click here, close. Now we have all three points. Let's proceed with making a datum plane. So go here and select each point A, B, and C. Now you can see this has automatically selected plane by three points for you. Click OK. Now we have to make a sketch over here and then choose this option, pocket. So create your sketch over here and you can just create a rectangle. Hide the datum plane and this is the final part. You can just view it side by side. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a specific request, make sure you comment below and I will surely consider it. Take care and see you in next video.